Welcome to today's episode of Catching Up with Yoseka Stationery. So mm, casual. casual. We have had a wonderful week here at Yoseka. This past week, we had so many visitors. Oh, yes. Yeah, so. And it was just jam packed full of fun from our Traveler's Diner event in store this, uh, last week. And I just want to thank everybody who managed to come out to the event. And we did have lots of visitors from like all over the country. Actually, mm -hmm. it was so much fun to see everyone. We had if anybody hasn't been watching, we had a diner event in the last few days in the store as part of Traveler's Note for their limited diner sets that they released earlier this year. They partnered with their partner shops all around the country to celebration events in their stores. This past week, we had the diner neon sign up in the store. Mm -hmm. We had the diner stamp in the store. We had the coasters. Yeah, to give away stars. which was really fun and as part of like our own fun idea we thought it would be cool to have an instax camera out and so people were just you know snapping photos all throughout the weekend and it was so good to see everyone who came by the store was packed so packed so packed it's been a while since we've seen the store like that i think since since the holidays, mm -hmm. I guess. I was just surprised to, to see so many people from out of state who flew in, and there was a moment where like, I I didn't order enough Instax film. Did you know about this? Oh, I didn't know about this. This is oh, a new yeah, thing. Yeah, I thought like, I thought we would be totally fine um, because we don't typically go through Instax film that often, uh, that much, mm -hmm. obviously, but I ordered like, 50 or something and I thought it would last us for the four days of the yeah. event and Neil's like why didn't you order more he's always like telling me to do more things like whenever we throw a party together he's like you need to get more food you need more to get more supplies yeah more pizza <laughs> that's right Neil Neil likes more, more okay more. more he needs more so he's like why would you only get this and I was like it's enough and sure enough we totally ran out after like, like two even on the first day no after two days, two days we ran day. out like just before wow. the weekend and so I was like in a panic and I was waiting for our delivery all weekend and it showed up right in the nick of time so we had film throughout the Traveler's Diner event. It was like a miracle. I look forward to having more events like this in store all year long. We will definitely be working on more. And actually, something else really exciting is you may notice <laughs> our new background. What's behind us? <laughs> all the way back here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited that we finally have some panels on the wall here. Yeah, a little bit more color. A little more in the color. Frame, and if you, you know. know our store at all, you know that behind our ink bar, we have a wall that looks just like this. So we really wanted to bring those very distinctly Yoseka vibes to mm -hmm. our YouTube studio too. So this was a great idea. And actually, Ashley and our other team member, Anna, who you all haven't met yet, but will soon, they spent half of their day just yesterday actually with all of these wood panels and what a is nail that gun. A nail gun. Yeah, a nail gun. And they are responsible for putting this wall together behind us. Yeah, it, it was, was incredible. It was Hard work, actually no, it wasn't. It was very fun. It was fun, right? <laughs> it was yeah. super fun, and everyone got to like take turns nailing in some panels. I know it was very was so thrilling. Funny. You guys did a great job. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I I feel like we've come full circle because the very first video you ever filmed, like the meet Yoseka, I don't is, remember is which at one. the store oh, front, oh, oh, and it's yeah. just you with this background. Oh my god! So I think you're it'll right. be so funny. Now, <sighs> now our most recent video. Yes, thank you for putting this wall together for us and doing a great job with. It. I've heard Ashley talk many times about how she's able to like build things and like she had she's quite handy uh, <laughs> this Ashley of ours so I was um, happy to see those skills in real life yeah, yeah. It, it was fun to, to actually you know move around right do something. wait yeah. and you brought your lever your level oh, my in. level level in because I thought it. we would have to use it but we didn't have to oh so. you didn't use it no oh. 
the wall wasn't straight. Lots of things weren't straight. You can tell it's a very rustic look. So yeah. there's no point I to see. using the level. I see, I see, I see. Okay, well, it does look good. Um, and we will be adding more furniture to our space. Other than that, we've had some new products added this past week as well. Not a whole lot we added. We talked about this last week, but we have more new Kita More this week. new Kita. Last week we talked about the new special Kita. Yes. But this is a continuation of their clear Kita mm -hmm. line. These are the new styles in the clear Kita tapes. Oh my god, There's the cats fairy, are so cute. The cats. There's these flowers and then there's a nighttime style and they're all like die cut shapes mm -hmm. so they're not the classic washi rectangular rectangular yeah. shape like some of the other clear kitas are. They're they're all like such cute designs. I feel like this one's really unique. And I think I've seen funny. that illustrator um her other artwork before because it is really unique and very mm -hmm. it stands out. And I mm -hmm. think I have seen like washi tapes from this illustrator before. And I think the name of the illustrator is in the back of these. I think it's in Heisuke Kitazawa. Mm -hmm. So that's the name of this illustrator with these funky looking figures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what is that one called again? Fairy? Fairy. fairy. Funky, fairy. Looking fairy. <laughs> funky looking fairy. Funky looking fairy. Yeah, these are the new Kitas to go along with the special ones. Yay! We love Kita here. These are going to be fun to decorate with and I love how they're making it like clear too. Mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Clear and die cut. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up we have um, the new Twisby Eco Tea Saffron color. So this is like a really nice like bright yellowy orange color. This is the new Twisby Eco Tea Saffron and for anyone who is confused about the differences between Twisby Eco Tea and Twisby Eco. Um, the main difference is that the shape of the grip for the Eco Tea is like triangular. So you have like a surface to put each one of your fingers in your grip. Bethany is actually really excited about this pen. So she's gonna be doing an unboxing for us later. Yeah, it's yeah. really her color. It's her color. She has her Lamy mango. Um, mango. Yeah, yeah, they're like such a close color match. It's I so know. good for her. I know. I'm, I'm excited to see uh, what she's going to ink this with. Also new in the world of fountain pens are these spectacular beauties. These are the Pilot Namiki Aya fountain pens. These are absolutely stunning fountain pens. I would definitely love one but i think they're just a little too big for me like feeling it it just wouldn't yeah. be like comfortable for me personally Very like large. this is my hand and this is the whole pen like and this is a twisby to show you <laughs> yeah right that's a twisby eco and this is the pilot namiki ayas these are really really beautiful new pilot namiki pens this one is the tokiwa green this is a mixture of like glitter and also um raiden mm, that's what yeah. i was wondering it's yeah. got like that raiden yeah, the Tokiwa green means evergreen, so it's supposed to be a symbol of like evergreen trees that are that stay green even in like the really cold winters. I love that. I love how subtle this green is, and I love how it is like these strokes of green mm -hmm. across the pen. It's kind of you kind of have to look hard to see the green. It's so subtle, so, subtle, it's so beautiful, but really pretty. This one is the Sei Ryu Blue, and it, these are uh, inspired by streams. So these little blue streaks are supposed to be streams of water. Mm -hmm. And same thing, it's like on a background of Raiden and sort of, uh, oh, wow, that looks so good yeah, right there, right? The yeah. Ooh. Wow, okay. And then this one that Ashley has is the Hayate Black. Mm. Yeah. That one's very sparkly. This one's very sparkly. So nice. Um, and then the Raiden and Sparkle also, the details are on the cap as well. Right there. Mm. Yeah. The base of the cap and the barrel are so thick and wide that like they do actually provide like a really good surface for the Raiden and the glitter detail. Mm -hmm. um, the last one, this one is the Akatsuki Red and Akatsuki 
means daybreak um, at, or like it can also mean like a eureka moment of realization. Oh, yeah, wow, yeah. Nice. So it's like an aha moment kind of thing. And I love, I really like, I really like this one actually. That one is really nice. Yeah, I love the the red. Yeah, I love Dark the gold red. coming out of the red yeah. too. Very pretty. Yeah, and then these will have the very large number 30 pilot gold nib. Look at that, it's like massive. So cool. All right. I have to be so, so careful, careful with these. <laughs> I'm like shaking. They're so nice. <laughs> um, yeah, but these are so stunning. And I I love I love Urushi, I love Makie, I love all of these like really like beautiful art pens that are handmade and they take like all this time because of the layers and layers of work that have to be done but these are cool because of how subtle they are also mm -hmm. like sometimes mm -hmm. those designs can be a little bit splashy yeah um like flashy yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I like how subtle these colors are. and then other than that we just had uh such a busy and exciting week in the store like i feel like it's times like these that really remind me of like why we started doing this in the first place is because Neil and I just had so much fun talking to people mm -hmm. on our weekends when we were first starting this and talking to people who are like passionate about a hobby yeah. or just like you know mm -hmm. doing just like here with us and so excited to be here with us. I had so many conversations with people like that over this past week because of the Traveler's Diner event. So I want to thank everybody who made it out and had a chance to come by Yoseka and say hello. I want to give a special shout out to um, Ethan who made this. <laughs> I saw this when you guys posted it on Instagram and yeah. I was like, what is happening yes. here? Yes, Ethan, um, he has an Instagram account called Cabradactyl. Um, and he actually, I can't stop spinning this. Have you tried this? I have It's so satisfying. Whoa, are there like gears in there? So, so funny. They're called ball bearings. Oh, like a ball bearing. I didn't yeah. know what that was until I literally saw him setting these up in front of me and he put the balls into the bearings, I guess. Oh, he did. Wow. Yeah, yeah, because he had to ship them because um, um. they were pretty heavy and he's not from New York. But he shipped them to New York, and then he and then he like presented oh these gonna, to me. I like want to take it apart because I'm so interested. I'm scared. So I've been cool. scared to take it apart because I'm afraid I won't know how to put it back together. But this is how they're they're they fit together. So Ethan, okay, let me tell you about Ethan. Okay. Okay. Ethan is a genius, and he has a 3D printer, and he I think he professionally, if I remember correctly, he like professionally prints. 3D prints uh, parts for vintage cameras. Wow, yeah. that is so cool. Okay, and he showed me like all these diagrams that he's done to like have to figure out how to print these 3D parts together. And he also happens to be like a total mechanical pencil enthusiast. He mm. loves mechanical pencils. So that's how he found Yoseka because he was looking for the P205. So he's a 3D printing guy. And so he set out to make a pencil holder out of, of his from his 3D printer. Mm. So this pencil holder, which is the size of mine and Ashley's head, so cool. and it's like 10 pounds yeah. or like eight pounds or something. He 3D printed this entire thing, and I'll. This must be a big 3D printer. You can put your pencils in it. Um, and it spins because it's a pencil holder on a Lazy Susan. So he made a Lazy Susan pencil holder. He just wanted to come by and show it to us and give this one to us. Wow, um, this is ours yeah, to keep? Yeah, oh my this gosh. is ours to keep. And I won't ever stop spinning, spinning it. Spinning it. Ever, like I promise, thing. Ethan. Um, yeah, it's so cool. And I Very love, cool. he, he's really into retro, obviously, um, like vintage cameras. So mm -hmm. these are like super retro colors that yeah. he picked for it. He's engineered, uh, have this sort of, I don't know what's the word for this. Like the threading. Screw, yeah, the threading and that this is how they, so this part is basically like that. Oh. So he, yeah. Oh. It just falls into place. Wow. Oh, yeah. so the threads so are like super long. Pretty cool. Yeah, so he's 
a total genius. I don't know how his mind works. He's also saying that, <laughs> I didn't 100% understand because I don't know how 3D printing works, oh. but you can message him. If, you're, if you have a 3D printer and you want to like, I don't know what it's called, like the recipe. <laughs> Yeah, if you want the 3D file. <laughs> if you have the ingredients on hand in your pantry, you want to cook up one of these. <laughs> you can ask Ethan for the recipe. His recipe cookbook. Exactly. His pencil holder cookbook. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but he, uh, we'll put his Instagram on on the video here and for anybody who wants to reach out um i think he he is like selling them and he'll give you like a discount code for them too um Aww. because i think he spent like probably a year or two of his life really trying to like engineer this yeah. <laughs> um, and then this is just it's like a, kid's a fun toy. fidget toy it's I a love kid's it. toy it's for jacob <laughs> oh my god yeah so they're like stacking cups that just kind of go like that That's and so I'm cool. excited to give Jacob these because I think they'll keep him occupied for some time <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that's Ethan. I met Ethan and that was great because um, Ethan's been talking to me about this pencil holder for a little while now and it was nice to actually see what he meant and it's also nice to see that, you know, you never know what you're talking about on Instagram, what they're talking about. Yeah. And I don't know anything about 3D printing so I had no idea. I was just like, oh cool, but I, it was nice to see it in person. I was like, oh, a pencil holder, like Makes actually. Sense. Yeah. So thanks to Ethan for coming out. You um, you blew my mind with this. Yeah, that's so very cool. cool. I have one more customer that I want to tell everyone about. Her name is Christine, and you might have seen if you follow us on Instagram. She came to our Traveler's Diner event, and she's obviously very creative. Um, she got a Traveler's Diner set from us, and then she recorded like the audio recording from Catching Up mm -hmm. to play when she opens up her traveler's notebook diner set so she showed me that and i was just i was so tired that day <laughs> it was like i was so tired that day but seeing that just completely transported me and i was just like i love you christine you're the best you're it so awakened sweet you. it awakened oh me it jolted me so awake good. i didn't need coffee i didn't need anything <laughs> i just needed this 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 person <laughs> christine um and then christine actually also brought our team all of these zines she wrote us this little note this adorable note for for all the people on our team and explained why she gave certain people certain zines which they're so yeah cute. And so this you guys this is the zine i was like, confused at first but mm -hmm. this is it christine also gave me a zine and it oh, was so did you want to show well it's a little it's like it, it almost it made me cry i was oh. like if i was at home i would be crying the one that she gave me is called burning, burning out. out and it's in this little match box it's in this little match box style which so cute is so, perfect. so fitting yeah for the theme it matches your shirt and that's true it does <laughs> And when you open it, it's a story of a little fire who's like, you know, going through it. And at the end, they they have like a, a friend that, that gives them a hug. Oh, uh, so, I've got you. It's so touching oh. and it's like just so cute. And so yeah, that made me a little teary-eyed. What about you, Ashley? Is there anyone else you met this past weekend? I met so, so many people. Many people. Right? Yeah. I feel like I have so many shout-outs to, to give for this week because it even it was my first day back in the store since, right, since for like I came two back. Weeks. Yeah. yeah. So I, everyone was like coming up to say hi to me, which is like, oh, thank you, thank you, everyone. I really, I really appreciate it. Aww. Um, and so I met in store. Michelle came to visit and say hi. She got herself a very nice oh, little Michelle. pin for herself. She she came the other day. I met her too. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> very, very cool. She came back, <laughs> and we had some good chats. Um, her son, I think, uh -huh. I helped 
fi find a Kakuno, which is his first fountain pen. Oh, fun! So, and she messaged me and was like, he's loving it. And I was like, oh, oh. great, I am so happy. Yay. And she's loving her new pen too. Um, so that was like really fun to, to help out with Aww, and to meet Thanks to for Michelle. coming two times, Michelle. Because <laughs> <laughs> she, she was also visiting from out of state, right? I, she traveled a little while, but she didn't say where she was coming from. Okay, so. I, if it's the same Michelle, I'm wondering. Anyway, <laughs> Michelle, thank nice you for coming. Hi. Yeah. And then I also met, Se I can't remember how she pronounced her name. She said it and I can't remember, but Sen, Sen, Sen? Yeah. Not sure, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but I remember she said she was visiting from California. I came all the way here and you know just had a great time in the shop you know checked out our diner event mm -hmm. and i was like wow people really did come from like so far I for know, this what this an honor so cool yeah um but it was very nice to say hi i to... love san she's a really talented painter did she show oh, you any of her artwork no she's a really good painter we yeah. only had like a really brief chat and i was like I'm sorry, you have to leave. Yeah. Like you only have a short amount of time oh, to be well, I'm here. I'm glad you got to meet her though. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's really talented. That was really nice. And then I also talked to Ria, who brought her Hobonichi cousin with her, Ooh. and she has the Voluto cover. So she like opened oh. the whole thing on yeah, her ink yeah. bar, and I was like, whoa! <laughs> and she's like, you know, working on filling it up. So she got a lot of the stamps from the Traveler's Diner oh, cool, event cool. and stamped them in her cousin, Cute. which like, you know, doing a crossover with Travelers yes, and Hobonichi. Yes, 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 I guess. Wow, but can you imagine if that happened one day? Oh my God. Groundbreaking. Oh my God. World oh my God. earth shattering. <laughs> yeah. So that was so cool. I love seeing everyone's Hobonichis, as you know. Hobonichi queen, I guess. <laughs> I, I love seeing your Hobonichis. So if you do come visit, I, I love to take a look at your planners. So thanks for visiting Ria Yay. and please come back soon because she wasn't from out of town. Mm. Um, she just knew that the event was happening mm. and came to say hi. Mm, cool, so thanks cool. for saying hi. And then I know I, there's just so many names and I'm, I'm forgetting people too. I yeah, said hi to I know, so, many sure, sure. wild. so many people. For sure. So many people. So many people. But Susan actually dropped by on a day where I was still recovering I think I wasn't there at the store right and um, Amy talked to her and she left me a little like care package gift for me with a little card inside just wishing me well like speedy recovery and I was like that's so that's sweet. so nice yeah like basically everyone who who came to the store and said hi um knew about my surgery and was yeah, like burning I out. you're okay burning <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'm recovering really well. And I yeah. think it's because all of you have wished me well. Aww. So thank you. Thank you so much. And I love all the goodies, Susan. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. My heart is so warm. Oh, so warm. it's so sweet. Mm -hmm. Yay. I, I didn't get to meet Susan or Rhea, but maybe next time if you guys are in the store, be sure to say hi and just say, I was the former customer friend of the week. <laughs> <laughs> There's one person I know I'm forgetting. I know I'm forgetting. I think she came with her daughter and got a diner set. Joy? Yes, Joy. Yeah, I met Joy yes. too. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Because <laughs> she was really lovely to, to talk to when I got oh, to say hi to her. That's good. I know she like, yeah, keeps she up was with her really Instagram sweet. and things. Yes, oh, very sweet. Thanks for coming, Joy. I know you came, like people who came, um, thank you so much for coming. I've said this already, but also like it was so chaotic. So um, I truly appreciate that you took the time to stop us and say hi because yes. it's sometimes you know you feel i definitely get that you might feel shy and or uncomfortable like approaching someone in yeah. a busy store but actually we really like it when you do that and it just helps us snap out of our like mind <laughs> mind mind down like you know what is it head down like just doing doing our work kind of, yeah exactly yeah. and just like gives us like wakes us up a little and reminds us that um you are why we love doing what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, do appreciate when you do that. And I think that's about it for this week's episode of catching up with Yoseka Stationery So Casual. I love how people are saying so casual. Like it's like becoming such a thing. <laughs> such Have you noticed this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People 
common things yeah. and, and like with multiple O's, like <laughs> so <laughs> casual. <laughs> yeah. I think it's partly like Ami's sticker too because it's it was true. like on that blackboard mm-hmm. thing. But um, yeah, I love it. I love it. Keep it coming. Mm-hmm. Um, and thank you for watching this episode and we will see you very soon on the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye.